All right, back to smashing some homemade armor. Now, I didn't quite get the turnout I was looking for, because it's been like a month since I shot one of those videos, and I was expecting to have like 10 or 15 plates to compete against each other. So I'm gonna up the ante a little bit, so not just the cash prize. I'm also going to be giving one free level 4 plate to the winner, and one free level 3 steel plate to the winner. Yes, I know those plates were sent to me to smash, but after I did a couple of them, it came very clear nobody wants to hear the truth. So, no point in doing any more testing real armor videos, so let's test some homemade armor videos. Uh, the whole point of this is so, like, let's say the world ends or something like that, you have a couple of mainstream tested ideas that you could go to your local hardware store and make armor. And that's part of the rules. You can't obviously put a level 4 plate in a box and send it to me because you will be disqualified. Everything must be homemade, but you are materials free. Any materials you want to use. Obviously, the best way to do it, like the more realistic you can do it, the more you'll be helping people, and the whole point of this is to help people. So yeah, if you find a roll of Kevlar or something, you can use that. That's totally fine. But I, it, it's totally fine and you can win using that. But I would like you to use more like homemade stuff. You don't have to. Your material's free. You can use whatever the hell you want. Then record a video on your phone of how you're making it, Send it to me so when I test your armor, I can put a link to that video in the description. And then as soon as you send it to me, even before I test the armor, I'm going to share it on my channel. So if you do a really good job on that video, you very well could become a YouTube creator just by making an armor plate. All right, Kale from California. Let's see what your armor's made off of. We're going to be starting with 45. Well, I don't see a hole in the barrel, so that's promising. Let's go take a look. No pass through, and it's a legal hit. So let's, let, let's step things up a little bit. Let's go with the AK. All right, here's where the 45 hit. No pass through, the AK pass through, but I was right on the line. That is not a legal hit. So I'm gonna take a second shot and confirm that it cannot stop the AK. Second shot, it passed through, so this would be level one armor. It does successfully stop a 45. All right, now we got AK fanboy armor. Well, let, let's see what these guys are all about. You know, may, maybe they're like somehow know a secret the rest of the world don't. So let's start with 45. No pass through, Mr. AK man. So let, why don't we just jump up to the rifle you happen to like? Let's see how that does. AK 47. The AK 47 did pass through. But it was not a legal hit because it's in two inches of the 45. So I'll put another AK round right here just to make sure that it can't stop the AK. All right, second AK shot, middle of the plate. Actually, we'll go middle low just to make sure it's a legal hit.
that would be a legal hit pass through so Cal from California and Mr. AK guy are in a tie right now all right now we got a very real looking plate it actually says like top front back I'm very excited to see how this does all right so let's start off that plate with a uh, 45 acp no pass through let's step it up to ak-47 Here was the shot with the AK, and it passed through right here. Hole in the barrel and everything. All right, so the three competitors, we got Droy, I believe is how you pronounce it, from LA. Definitely stopped the 45. You can actually still see the projectile right here. Dented it in quite a bit, did not penetrate. However, the AK went through. I think it was close to stopping the AK, because like this one right here was tumbling. Maybe just a little bit thicker or something like that, and it would have stopped it, but this was really close to the weight limit anyway. It was like a half of a pound short, so I don't know how much thicker he can actually make it. But a very, very nice submission. Then we got Cal from California. Uh, the AK round like basically went straight through. The hole's very small. I think this pretty much maxes out at pistol calibers. It did stop the 45 though. There's no exit hole, no back face deformation, nothing on the pistol caliber, but I just don't think this particular design has what it takes to stand up against rifle calibers. Then we got, where are we here? Fox from MA. Same thing. No problem stopping the 45 at all. I can't even feel where it pushed out on the back. The AK though, it came out tumbling. So this was close to stopping the AK. I gotta say, this is a pretty cool looking plate. But it just didn't do it. Now, because I have a three-way tie with pistol calibers, in the event I don't get any more submissions, which I highly doubt, somebody's gonna submit something that will stop a rifle round and that'll make these, you know, no longer relevant, but in the event they don't, I think what I'll probably do is just pick a whole bunch of pistol calibers, maybe hit it with a slug, 9 mil, stuff like that, until I find a plate that stops the caliber that the other two won't. But I suspect these guys will resubmit, and I'll get other submissions that will go in it. Again, remember the grand prize for winning this is $500. I don't have a time limit on it yet, because I want to see somebody get into the rifle calibers before I'm like, okay, now there's a time limit because we got somebody that's doing really good. And these two plates as well, level three steel, level four. But anyway, thank you for watching. Um, if you wanna submit a plate, use this address right here. Remember, it's gotta be less than nine pounds, 10 by 12, and less than five inches thick. Thank you for watching, like to help support the channel. Got my Patreon right there. I also have affiliate links in the description down below. Just go down there, click the link to my Amazon store. Even if you don't buy something specifically out of my Amazon store, just going to Amazon off of that link before you do the Amazon shopping you're already gonna do anyway, I'll kick back for it because you came there off my channel. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.